This is I Make Beats. Welcome to my channel. Today, I wanted to share a few things concerning the black box, like how to hook an audio interface up to it so that you can use a mic system with the black box. Also, how I load samples, so stick with me. If you're not interested in this part of the segment, please go ahead and move forward of how to load samples into the black box. All right, so let's jump into getting the DR07 set up so that we can use it to route audio from the lapel system through the black box. So of course, let's go ahead and just get our headphone jack plugged in because that's gonna be our main monitoring source, all right? We have the USB cable. So we're gonna go ahead and plug the cable into the DR07. I did a video before explaining that whether you're using an iPhone or an Android, you're gonna need some kind of adapter. Since I have an iPhone, I need the adapter that goes into my power port. That's gonna to connect to the USB cable coming out of the audio interface. All right, that's done. Now, on my wireless lapel system, the other uh the transmitter is already attached to my shirt but this is the receiver so we're going to need a eighth inch to eighth inch cable to receive so let's go ahead and get that set up all right so i plugged one of the ends of the eighth inch cable into the uh receiver and we're going to take the other end and we're going to plug it into the black box now on the back of the black box i'm going to flip it around so you guys can see it here we're going to plug it right into the audio in okay that's the only input that you really have for audio on the black box these other three are audio outs and inside the black box you can select which which out port you want stuff to come out of. We're gonna use the, the regular in because we're going in. One, two, and three are outs, as, as is the headphone jack. But we're gonna use this one. All right, so now let's go ahead and get the, the uh, DR07 powered up. I still haven't connected the adapter with the, the cable to my phone yet. But we're gonna go ahead and power this up. And we're gonna place it in audio interface mode. We're gonna to go to menu, scroll down to USB. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says audio IF. And we'll just keep scrolling down to the bottom. I already have it set up to iOS, which is what I want. And I'm gonna keep scrolling down and click and click. Now as you can see on the screen, it says USB audio IF. Now, before we plug uh, this adapter into the phone, we still need to route the audio from that's coming into the digital audio interface. So that's when we come out of the headphone jack of the black box. All right, so real quick, I have a, a really nice cable that still an eighth inch to eighth inch but it's already wrapped and I don't want to unwrap this. So I'm gonna switch this one with this one and use this one to come out of the headphone jack. All right now, so as you can see, I swapped it. Now the black cable is coming out of the end, going into the receiver and the blue one is now coming out of the headphone jack, going into the DR07. All righty, so now before we go ahead and connect this to our phone i'm going to power up the black box all right so as my power source for the black box i'm just using a small little brick just a usb brick to power my black box okay and this one's kind of cool because it has four little indicators on it that um light up so i can kind of gauge when the you know brick is going to be out of power so yeah, I'm fully charged on the brick. And as you can see, the black box has lit up. Um, also, <clears throat> I did um, upgrade this. When you first buy the black box, it has the 1.0.6. But 
but now it now has the 1.6.5 and I will be doing a tutorial on how to do that later but let's move on all right so now that we have a blank preset right now you're hearing me directly through the speakers on or the microphone pickup that's on the phone but if I started making beats I would want the sound from the black box to be routed into my video feed once I do that you can no longer hear me speaking well this is how you solve that problem with a wireless lapel system prior to us hooking up the phone we have to do some settings we have to set up some things all right so let's go ahead and turn on the receiver all righty that's on now i'm going to turn on the transmitter which is on my shirt you should begin to see the levels move on the receiver here shortly there we go okay now okay so it is picking my voice up however it's not being routed through the black box yet okay now as long as i have a pad selected that's what makes this feature work i go to the info button here all righty so testing 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 so now that ambionic noise the background noise has now been removed i've already found my sweet spot on the black box I, when, earlier you saw me go into info to the headphone setting and I know that around 56 55 56 is a really good level for not only my voice coming through but also for any audio sounds that I've sampled or sequenced in the black box so now that this is connected this is basically how you use the DR07 and the black box together to mic yourself and to route it directly into your video feed. So I'm not using the MPC at all. The MPC is on just for a sound module. I'm going to use that in the next section to show you how I load samples. All right. Also, I want to say before I do switch over that while loading samples you can't have this microphone set up hooked in okay so, you, so I'm gonna have to sacrifice one or the other since I wouldn't be talking while loading samples I technically wouldn't need the microphone set up hooked up the input here is now going into the output of the uh, MPCX all right moving on when I click on song up here that's my tempo so if I you know, know what my tempo is, I can change the tempo here. I know that the tempo for this sample is 84. So I already preset that, just wanted to show you. Um, but yeah, so I would definitely wanna set how many bars or measures, and I also wanna set my tempo. All right, so now that I've gone through all that, we're all set up, okay? I wanna go back to pad, and I'm gonna go back to info. Now, that's what I wanna see, I wanna see that. So if, what's new about, what's really cool that they did with the new update is now I can scroll through the screen because it didn't used to have any of this data here. But now I can scroll through and I can go to my threshold and you know, I can change. So my threshold is at negative 20, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I, just, I love some of the, the new updates that they did with this, but okay, let's get this going. So now I'm gonna stop talking now, I've already selected the sample. It's already selected on the screen. All I'm gonna do from the MPC, is I have the sample selected, I'm just gonna hit the play button and sample it right in. If you haven't yet, like, share, subscribe.
click that notification bell so that you know when I come out with new content. Until next time, this is I, May, Beats.